We'll get through them shortly. But uh, stock of the day, I thought we'd take uh, revisit Tyro has confirmed it has received takeover approaches from several parties, including banking giant Westpac, the payments provider, says none are sufficiently uh, definitive or advanced to warrant further discussion at this time. The company said all approaches received so far are non-binding and highly conditional in nature, adding it's engaging with select parties in order to maximise shareholder value. It is being wooed by the sound of it. Tyro told shareholders it will keep the market informed of any significant developments. In response to the statement, Westpac confirmed it is undertaking preliminary discussions to acquire 100% of the company, said the acquisition would strengthen small business proposition should it proceed. Tyro shares climbed nearly 9% on Monday. Uh, Tyro, of course, uh, the uh, basically a, a business based around FPOS payment systems for small business. Scott Phillips, um, what do you think of Tyro at the moment? Or because mm. it's in discussions, do you leave it alone? And isn't it interesting, the big banks who used to have a broad portfolio of interest, but have now basically become mortgage lenders, all of a mm. sudden going back to small business. It's funny, isn't it, Koshi? <laughs> uh, you, go where, you go where the cash flow is, I suppose, to some yep. degree. Uh, I reckon Tyro is a steal at these prices, can I say? And it really is interesting. You know, the market hates the stock. It's down 75% or so, something mm. like that, uh, over the past couple of years. And then you see something like Westpac come and pick it up. And everyone goes, oh, yeah, obviously that was great value. And you think, well, where, where were the investors back then? Um, I should disclose a partial interest. It's a recommendation of ours. I don't own any shares. Um, I think it's a really, really good price. I think anyone who buys this business at the current price will do really, really well. Tyro is, is a great little business. It's super capital intensive, and it's actually probably picked itself a bad point in the cycle to, to try to be growing. Uh, we know that capital required. This is a scale business, and it needs you know billions of dollars of transactions to make a few a few bobs. So it's a tough business to be in when rates are increasing and capital is harder to get. Maybe it ran too late. Maybe it didn't grow fast enough. Maybe it shouldn't have been started at the time it was. But that's why it's so cheap right now. Investors hating anything. That's either capital intensive or losing money or both. Um, that's Tyro's situation right now. That's why the share price has fallen. If you're a big bank with deep pockets and growth aspirations in that small business space, you're looking around saying, hang on, these guys are bringing something to the market that doesn't exist and we're losing share to these guys. If we can pick them up for, I won't say mm. cents on the dollar, but for a pretty cheap price, uh, you're probably mad if you're not at least looking at it right now. So I reckon anyone who buys it at the current price will get a very good deal. The momentum on this is really strong. As I said, still losing money. So you're buying it with that in mind. But if you're a big bank and you're saying, it's almost a two brand strategy, right? You don't want yeah. to start making your terminals available, your branded terminals available at a cheaper price. But if you can buy something like Tyro and run it as a second kind of cut price brand and take share off the other guys as well as yourself, you might as well own it yeah. rather than someone else doing it. And if you can buy it cheaply, it's a good deal. Yeah. If it's a share, if you're a Tyro shareholder, what should you be doing? And would you I'd be, be investing in, in Tyro? Sorry, mate. Uh, I'd be sitting in my hands if I was a Tyro right. investor right now. New money is a hard one. It's always a hard one because we don't know. So let's, let's play this out in a couple of ways. One is the deal gets done at the current price. You don't make any money. The second is there's a bidding war and you make another 10, 15, 20% maybe. Um, the other is the bidders all walk away, so no too hard. The shares drop, I don't know, 5, yeah. 10, 15, 20%. You say, gee, I wish I hadn't done that. Yeah. Takeover arbitrage is super difficult to do well. I never try and play that game. It's just too hard. Right. If you get a, a deal that's been agreed and there's a gap, that's a different story. Uh, but right now you're guessing. That being said, Koshi, here's what I would say. If you want to buy Tyro shares because you'd be happy to own this if the deal doesn't go through, right? right? So if you said, well, look, if I, if I don't do this, the deal doesn't go through, shares fall 15, 20%, but I'm holding it for the long term, I think it's going to be worth 50%, 100% more in, in the fullness of time, then yeah, for sure, I think it's worth buying. So it's a buy for me right now, but bear in mind, it's not a takeover arbitrage play. If the shares fall, and they may, if the bidders walk away, oh. I still think it represents really good value. Oh, that's interesting. Um, Philip, I, I always thought um, it would be a good fit for Xero uh, if they wanted mm. to turn turn into a fintech or sort of provide financing for their, their business clients. But um, what, what do you think well, of it's clearly Tyro? a good fit for someone. It was, yeah. it was a market darling two years ago, if you look at that yep. chart. And then, of course, we had COVID and saw small business struggled. Uh, I believe they had a trading update last week, which was positive. Uh, they talked about cost mm. out and volumes holding up better than people expected. So yep. it's very easy to be pessimistic, retail, anything consumer driven at the moment and say, well, we're heading in for a recession, so sell. But yeah. as we saw, I think Bank of Queensland last week and Tyro also last week, that perhaps we're not 
crashing as hard as people thought. So I'm yeah. more interested in the fundamentals that came out last week with Tyra. I think it was up on the day. Um, notice today hasn't really moved despite them mm. admitting that there's a number of people circling. Yeah. Um, so I agree when markets have corrected the way they do, um, some good businesses get sold off. And if you're a genuine long-term investor, and that might involve private equity or another listed company or another yep. private company, this is their chance to pounce. Um, so I agree with Scott. Uh, don't, don't play this on a takeover play. Only right. buy if you think it's the longer term. I, I do see some thim- sympathy for the view that if we keep increasing interest rates, any energy prices going the way they're going, the fuel, the fuel uh, rebate has come <coughs> off. The consumer may weaken eventually. In fact, that's what the RBA is trying to achieve. Yep. Uh, it's hanging in there. So the good trading update from Tyro last week might not be long lived, but gee, it's cheap compared to a couple of years ago. Yep. So if I owned it, I would hold it. Uh, if I didn't own it, I would wait to see what happens with the takeover and see what their next quarter right. looks like to see if the trend is continuing or if it's just a, a blip. 